our format, what we're doing is we've done a mini series called Murder on the West Coast Express. In the very first episode, what happened is that we all stood here and we pulled uh, slips of paper out of a hat. One of them had an X on it, and that person was the murderer. And during the first show, James Carl Honeycutt Sr., played by Jordan, who's not around, he was killed. <laughs> I know, it's sad. And we don't know, none of us improvisers know, even in the outside world, who is the murderer. Only the murderer themselves knows it. And so today, we're all going to figure out who it is because the last episode. And I'm really excited. I'm excited too, and I'm scared. And, and <laughs> um, so Tom, I know it's improv, but yeah. I think some of it is scripted. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We have the very beginning, we know our characters, yes. but also the very beginning we're going to do a previously on that was going to give you a bit more information about what's going on. And other than that, everything else is impressed. So now we're Made up talk. on the spot. Crazy. Okay. Now we're going to get going, and we just need one thing from you guys. That's right. Um, we like a suggestion, we'd like a small object. So, yellow Small pocket bag. Uh, I've all like 10 minutes on dice, it's really good. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. Give us a big round of applause for sure. Sold out for selling secrets to the Germans by one of his top salesmen. 
I was one of your husband's top salesmen. And I hate Germans. <laughs> well, I guess what you were selling wasn't loyalty. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it was a final gag from old Danny Dapperton. You said that you were you were, you were being my ass. Uh, you said that you'd be my opener in my act. And you were the best opener I've ever had. And then you went off to sell vacuums. I mean, come on! Your act doesn't need you, and you're funny enough on your own. Hey, we both know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I'm sure of. There's only one person who can help get to the bottom of this, and that's uh. Chino Kolagowski. <laughs> Half Polish, 100% freelance, independent journalist woman. <laughs> I'm obviously in first class. I've obviously been on the train the whole time. And I'm definitely not wearing everything I own. Woo! <laughs> 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 my wife and my baby boy, please. Find some answers. Find out who murdered me on the West Coast Express. Yeah. I will, oh. Daddy. I will. <laughs> Better not be. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little fox. 
Who brought the fox on the train? <laughs> <laughs> the fox made it on the train, all on the <laughs> Gina, you remember what I said, right? Right. I think I'd better go. I'll be seeing you around. <laughs> First class isn't that big. <laughs> no. I'm used to more room. How much room are you used to? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I know about misdirection. I'm a magician. 
Daniel. 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 Daniel.
<laughs> I understand. But I, you must understand. I killed James. Oh, oh. I killed James. Oh. James. What are you doing back here, Biggs? You must know that I know you changed your name. Your name wasn't always James Carl Honeycutt Sr. Big deal, Biggs. I saw you right through names. I understand. But I saw right through it. I wouldn't forget the face of my son. We were in the casino business together. You were my star dealer. I was nothing but a cash register to you. Look! Cha-ching, cha-ching! I was gonna give it all to you! What was I, five when you had me start throwing trick dice? <laughs> Seven when you taught me how to count cards? And then you ran away. Goddamn right I ran away. <coughs> and I might have screwed up once or twice, but I got something good going now. I got a wife, I got a kid, I got a job. You were my only child. I'm not your child. I've forgotten about you. Shit. Come on. Really? Nobody betrays me. You knew that. I taught you that at an early age. Listen. You're not going to do it. You ran away. You knew what would happen. I knew what would happen? Yeah, I knew I'd get a life for myself. You're nothing but a piece of garbage. Yeah. You're a coward. Blood, You're a thief. Blood runs thicker than water. Floors of this tray look <clears throat> thick tonight. Things were really looking up for me. <clears throat> look, look, you. <laughs> look, I always kind of thought it was you, but, but I thought. Let, let me, let me see your, your right hand man. We'll take down this journey together. I, I don't care. I just need fame. I need fortune. Look, Danny, I understand. You need to kill Professor Sergeant Ben Majors. I gotta go, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> but how, all I gotta see is die. <laughs> okay. I think I'm pulling the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I was golfing. You was golfing earlier. What's up, buddy? Yeah. So. Where'd he go? World War II. <laughs> that must have been crazy. <laughs> you want the truth? Yeah, sure, give me the truth. You're a funny guy, you're connected to your emotions, right? Yeah, I'm connected to my emotions. Yeah, of course. The only person who got me through was Evelyn. Man, I tell you, there were nights. Omaha, all then. God, I thought I was gonna die. I was ready for it, too. But I knew knew that Evelyn was worth it, that somehow I was, I was going to make it through, that God wouldn't put me on this earth just to have me die when I know the person I love. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. I know you're not rich either. I just know that Bear Maxwell Biggs has shit tons of money. And Look, I know she doesn't want to see me right now, but I want to provide for her. Like, I just want her to be comfortable. Right. Get out from under her evil mom, her Nazi dead dad. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Like, I people mean, think I'm a dick, but I'm likable. Yeah. I'm a likable yeah. character. Yeah. What a hell of a guy. Yeah, we wouldn't want to end you off so quickly. <laughs> Guess how many purple hearts I have. How many? <laughs> So, you know what, can I answer your question with another question? Yeah, sure. How many toes and fingers does this baby have? Daddy! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm <laughs>
<laughs> That's exactly what it was. What kind of, I'm going to take these off. What kind of allergy do you think this is? I don't know. I'm a chaste woman. <laughs> I've only had sex with like four men. <laughs> well, you were away at war. And only three before that. <laughs> but I will leave you to your business. Evelyn, wait. Evelyn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry for what? Everything! You're sorry for meeting me, for saying that you loved me, for saying that you would marry me? If that makes you sad, then yes, that is what I am. And then sleeping with my mother after all that. We never had sex! <laughs> what? Are you Tia? <laughs> Girlfriends in high school, I had a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> Good Never at kissing. Consummated any. Okay, mother. I don't. Because you see, the bacteria is so strong <laughs> that even a man such as him can penetrate that wall. Okay, you're trying to reach for me. You're still walking over there, and you're you're grazing his body. I don't want anything to do with with you two or with Danny anymore. And then Danny, just tell me what you. Danny is dead! What? That was James! <laughs> Danny? What did you do? I did nothing, I promise. It was your mother. <laughs> she killed him and then and then made me you? kiss her. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. It's true. <laughs> you killed James because you knew that I was supposed to marry him and that I loved him and that I still wanted to be with him. I didn't do any such thing! Yes, you killed him! You would have thought you would do that! It's just the kind of thing you would do. I know you killed father, and I know... I know you tried to make me feel like it was my fault that he died. I did try and do that. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. But I didn't kill your father. I killed your father. Oh. <laughs> well, that makes me feel so much better. No, I'm trying to be honest. Why? Why did you kill my father? He was selling secrets to the Germans. You can't blame a man for being patriotic, especially in Canada. <laughs> I was a comedian the whole time. Oh my God. <laughs> it wasn't a real mustache. Canadians can't grow them. Proof. <laughs> I was an officer at the Royal Air Force, and I was stationed in Germany. That's why I was there before D-Day. That's why I know you and your mother. Your father was selling secrets to Nazis. Your father was a bad man. Bad guy. <laughs> I know he... I, I, I caught him intercepting and sending letters and... He made me promise that I wouldn't tell anyone, or he would, or he said that he would, he would kill James. Look, Evelyn, I know you snuffed out his last breath. That's why your lipstick is round over father's lips. <laughs> when I went, went in the room, he was still alive. But you didn't want him to be. No. Of course I didn't. And, and I didn't have anything to smother him with, so I just used my face. I panicked, okay? <laughs> you have nothing to feel ashamed of. Your father was pure evil. That's that's really rich for me to believe. Look, yes, I killed this comedian. <laughs> but I didn't kill James. I wouldn't do that. I know how much you care for him. And I did kiss Ben. <laughs> like you used to when you first started cheating on me. Did you back like that? No. I did, I did open mouth this time, and then so far I just had closed mouth like it was a stage. Open mouth means nothing, you know that. It means nothing! <laughs> I just have to assume that I was in this room alone, I was here with I was here with Danny and the Baron, and the Baron had to leave for some reason, and I had industrial strength, uh, uh, ear gloves. Nope. <laughs> I'm in shock. I got real strength. Ear gloves on my ears. I couldn't hear anything. The Baron left. He could be dead for all I know. Daddy clearly killed James, and he tried to kill me. Your mother saved my life. If he's the killer, 
And I killed him. And is the Baron dead? I don't know where the Baron is, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that we've caught the killer right here. No, does that mean there's three killers on his train? Oh, this has been a long shower. I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta be clean. Oh! May I come into your room? Oh, give me a, give me a hot minute. <laughs> So, you're the, Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're the journalist. Yes. You investigated everything on the train. Yes. Here's the towel. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, this was not a, this was a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you little, okay, fine. <laughs> so you're investigating everything on the train. That's right. I just... I haven't had a shower in a while, because I'm no reason, and <laughs> I... The person on the train with the most experience at uncovering secrets, at finding people who are other people. Finding the murderer, essentially, is my I guess what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so eloquently. I'm not a poet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are a rich, mean man. I told you, I don't like you. <laughs> Actually, I didn't tell you that, but... You told me that now. You should know. Everyone knows. No. <laughs> I suppose you have thoughts about who the murderer could possibly be. I know who the murderer is. And who do you think it is? What I love so much about these bathrooms on the train is that the shower's over here, and the chandelier is right here. <laughs> You're the only journalist on the train. I can't have it. <laughs> Didn't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Danny's dead? Yes, he's dead. How? I mean, uh, he... Somebody killed him, and, and it was probably the person who killed James, and I don't know who killed him. It was Danny. probably him. Him. How could it possibly be me? I've been over here. <laughs> I was about to use the shower. <laughs> What's all this glass doing on the ground? Don't! don't what are you Why do you think I'm glass? <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. I'm a wealthy woman. Why am I picking up any <laughs> I'm frazzled and I'm terrified and Gina, we, we need to go now. We do. Good thing I don't have I don't have a lot to pack. <laughs> I pack light. Okay. Why are you completely naked? Uh, well, oh I dropped the towel in distress. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> This is your conductor speaking. Um, it's been some like weird complaints uh, somewhere that the first class has just been locked off. Uh, we're just trying to figure this out right now, so authorities uh, have been notified and will be meeting us in uh, uh, Winterpeg. <laughs> That's a little joke we like to say about Winnipeg. Winterpeg. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, we'll try to figure that out. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. I just didn't know where you went. I was working on my on my uh, my golf swing and I 
thought I was pulling the ball, and then I took, next thing I knew, I was getting strangled by a boat tie. And Agnes Hodgman came in and saved me. She saved me. She saved you. And we had a little bit of a makeout. <laughs> Danny was dead. Look, I'm not sure if you heard that conductor. Yeah. But he says that authorities are coming in. I think it's best if all of us know what the story is and get this past us. So you saw that Danny tried to kill you? She tried to kill me. You know what I realized? What? You don't have to trick dice. You're not a magician. You're a businessman. Of course. Look, I don't know. I don't know if it was your idea or anything, but it wasn't your dice. You didn't start it. You couldn't have done it by yourself. So I thought, I already stole like $600 from your jacket earlier when I had those earmuffs on, and I thought, <laughs> let's call it even. You had a money clip. You know what I love about these trains? <laughs> <laughs> these large antler, like deer heads, with all the antlers in front. I love, I love that there's one in every room. I also love about this train is the lakes in Winnipeg. Look, there's lakes. Look at the window. Last time I was at a lake, right? You want to know what's funny about that? <laughs> Look at the lake. Last time I was at a lake. Look at the lake. Look at the lake. Look at the lake. Look at the lake. I was using this lake. gun. Look at the lake. I was using this gun. Yeah. This, who is loaded at that time? Look at the lake. Lake. Okay. <laughs> so are you telling me a story? Yeah, I have this gun. <laughs> I'll put it back now. <laughs> Blood runs thicker than water. <laughs> what? What? What you, what's going on? Those are my only pair of pants. So just money. What are you doing? You wouldn't know, would you? You're not a millionaire. You're nothing. You're right, I'm a hundred thousand air. <laughs> That's why you keep saying it over and over. The casino's in debt, I know. Ah! What are you gonna do? I'm gonna strangle you with my bare hands. Oh, <laughs> the second amendment. <laughs> bare arms. <laughs> Let me say my goodbyes first. Sam. You shouldn't have meddled, Professor. Shut up, or you stab me. You shouldn't have meddled. I'm a very troubled man. I killed my son. I built a casino empire. Hundreds of people in my... Are you dead? That's so rude. No, he's not dead. <laughs> You have to stay alive for my daughter. I built a casino. Ah, ah, an empire of business. It was going to be perfect. I was just going to kill James and then everyone else on this train. <laughs> and then probably some other people because I've committed murder before. Yes. And then I've killed some animals too and as a youth. I'm very troubled. You see. Is it here? Yeah, I killed that deer. I killed every single animal on this train. I hear he kills all of the beef for burger bear and ham. <laughs> Is that true? That's true. <laughs> Whatever, they're only Alberta beef. <laughs> you know what I love about this train? <laughs> the chairs are very fragile, so you can kind of break off the, the nope. legs. And, nope, they're not. Nope. Just sturdy. <laughs> and I guess blood runs thicker than water. That you should kill me now. This is my signature. <laughs> All right. Oh fuck, I keep missing shit. <laughs> Quick, take your top off. Wrap it around him. Okay, I'm no medic. He is. You're the medic. Tell him what to do. Jeez. Agnes, you should take your top off. What? <laughs> Keep your top on. Fuck the plane. 
Stop the plane. We're, we're on a train. The bleeding. Oh, 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 my God. I meant stop the bleeding with your tongue. Yes? <laughs> Do you have anything to say or are you just going to leer and groan at me?
<laughs> Danny Daffodil left in his will and testament a little known hundred thousand dollars nobody knew he had. Uh, uh, he left it to uh, his one friend, Giggles, and uh, no one was really at his funeral, and sad. <laughs> they don't have funerals for murderers, so never had a funeral. My casino went into disrepair and it was replaced by an elementary school. <laughs> I'll never Woo! put that down because I'm a horrible person. Well, there you have it. For some of us, the West Coast Express is a fine stop. For some, I've kept chugging on. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Find yourself on the wrong side of the pearly gates, you need a vacuum. <laughs> you know who to call. <laughs>